we're going to multiply these two rational expressions. So what we're going to do first is factor each and see if we can simplify. So factoring the first numerator, we're looking for two numbers that multiply to negative 12 and add to negative 1. So those two numbers are negative 4 and positive 3. In the bottom, we have a GCF of A. They both have an A in common. We factor that out. We're left with A minus 4 on the inside. The second numerator, we can't factor. The denominator of the second expression is factorable. We're looking for two numbers that multiply to negative 3 and add to 2. Those two numbers are positive 3 and negative 1. Now we can reduce. So here's an a minus 4. On the top and bottom, there's an a plus 3. There's an a up here that we can reduce with the a down here. So we're left with 2a on the numerator over a minus 1. Don't be tempted to reduce these a's. You cannot do that because the a minus 1 is one thing tied together. So you can't reduce anything. This is our final answer. Now in the next one, we're doing a division. So we're going to keep the first fraction. So that's b squared minus 9 over 9b. We're going to multiply by the reciprocal of the second fraction. Some people remember that by saying keep, change, flip. You keep the first fraction, you change the division to multiplication, and you flip the second fraction. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing we did in number four. We're going to factor and reduce if possible. The first numerator is called a difference of two squares, and that gets factored into b minus 3 times b plus 3. And because we want to change this 3 minus b to something that we can reduce, what we're going to do is multiply both top and bottom by negative 1. So this is going to change to negative, this is going to change to negative, and that's going to be positive. In other words, we change all the signs in this fraction. That's the same as multiplying by negative 1 over negative 1. So now we got a b minus 3. See the negative 3 plus b, that's the same thing as b minus 3. So we can reduce that with the b minus 3 over here. And the negative 3 gets reduced with the 9. The 9 becomes a 3, and negative 3 becomes a negative 1. That's all we can reduce. So we're left with negative 1 times b plus 3. We're going to distribute that. That becomes negative b minus 3 over 3 times b. We're not going to have any temptation to reduce anything. We cannot reduce the 3s or the b's or anything like that because the negative b minus 3 is one thing together. It's considered one factor. So um, because of the addition and the subtraction in between, we can't reduce um, with the 3b factor on the denominator. So that's our final answer.